and to get fit, really. If mm -hmm. you want to live an active lifestyle, you can do it right at home, um, as so many of us have experienced. So I have a question then. Is it like swimming-based workouts? Mm -hmm. I mean, so, no. so it's for absolutely everyone. Absolutely. You don't have, you don't have to have Olympic aspirations to utilize this app. It's for the masses, really. And really, I was hoping to live out my Olympic dreams within the next. Okay, and what you know, there, sport? There might be. What, <laughs> what sport were you gonna do? I just curling. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even know what curling is. Is that a summer sport or a winter sport? <laughs> so next question: <laughs> Your personal training regime. Oh, okay, my my personal training regime. Um, like for the app? Were we talking about the app or are we talking about Oh, I was about just well, skipping to the next question. She was just trying to see what to she could do. To I was just trying to deflect here. I, so, so I want to know is how heavily has your training regime influenced this app and what they can find on the app? There heavily, you go. I would say about 80% hmm. um, to put a number to it. So we designed this app with the help of Pear and also my strength and conditioning coach, Clint Martin. So Clint really draws up the practices or the exercise routines and it's almost mirroring what I go through on a daily basis or what I've gone through in the past years. Which is? Um, so mostly circuit-based trainings. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things we're working on right now. We have running exercises. I used to run a lot in high school until I kind of busted my ankles, all summer's floppy ankles. Um, we also have homemade kettlebell, dumbbell exercises that you can really work um, through a circuit. So just different variations, um, many more to come. Might put in spin workouts as well. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of covering the whole schmeal, you know? Um, but other than that, yeah, these, these uh, training regimes have almost mimicked what I went through for the past five, six, seven years. Mm -hmm. wow. So they're pretty accurate. And the best part is you can really choose the intensity level you want to work at. If you really feel good that day or you really want to bust a workout out, you hit a higher zone. Or you zone. really don't want to. There's zone one, too. You, know, just you can a, just, just take a, a chill if you'd like. It, it's all, <laughs> Barbara's like, yeah. yeah. That's, the that's one mine, one. locked in. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's a personalized app. You can, it can be as personalized as you want it to. Mm -hmm. um, the results are completely whatever you want to achieve out of it. Mm -hmm. you know? And I think that's the best way. If you want something, it's got to come intrinsically. So who needs Chris Hemsworth and his app to train with? Well, we can train with just a school. Exactly. Like, why not, right? Okay, exactly. so then let's talk about your plans sort of within the pool then. What's, mm -hmm. what's the big game plan for you? Obviously, Olympics next year. Mm -hmm. how, are you, how are you building towards that? Are you staying? Are you going? What's, what's the plan? I'm looking at going back sometime in the next few months. Um, as soon as I can, depending on when the COVID situation stabilizes over there. Um, as, until that day comes, I'm just fully devoted to uh, working out in Singapore with the coaches that we have over here. Um, of course, with the guidance from Sergio back in Virginia, he sends me practices every single day. Aww. It must be nice. I mean, you've got such a good relationship with him and he adores you as well. I love Sergio. Sergio's like a big teddy bear. Yeah, like, you know, he is. Yeah, like, he is amazing. though. He looks, he looks like a big, fluffy, beardy teddy bear. Oh, yeah. wow. That was a very detailed description. Very yeah. affectionate. I, this this image in my head just looks really weird right now. <laughs> yeah, but he's a nice guy. I don't know what kind of teddy bears you grew up with. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... So, so planning to fly off, but you're going to stay here for until things die mm -hmm. down at least. Yeah, okay. so getting um, right now we're going through like a huge block of conditioning. Mm -hmm. um, definitely hitting the yards in the pool. Um, haven't thrown in any speed or explosive stuff yet. Don't really need to at this point. Uh, we just need a solid block to build on. And when I get back to the States, uh, I'll probably hit up a couple meets in the domestic circuit. You must miss that. Yeah. You know, you train to race, right? And right now you're just like training, training, training. And there's also no bench game. Because you've got yeah. that. Yeah. And you perform very differently, I think, when you're training versus when you're actually at a meet trying to compete with people. Because you mm -hmm. do. You push yourself a little bit further. Yeah. Um, what do you do to get yourself in that frame of mind that then when space, you're about to compete? Yeah. At the end of the day, ultimately, you need a big goal, right? My goal is the Olympics, and I know what I want to achieve over there. So it's, like you said, it's the hows, right? Mm -hmm. Like, what do we do today that's going to get us closer to that goal? And I think um, for the past few years, you kind of get lost in the sauce. Like, that's what I like to call it. And 
you forget about the small hows and you just think, okay, I want to go from point A to point Z, you know, without getting the other, was it 24, 25 steps say, of the a, way? That's a big jump, A to Z. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe halfway mark and then <laughs> just kind of toddle your way through. Yeah. Okay, so in terms of Singapore, obviously, like the sporting culture has grown exponentially over the, you know, the last decade. Mm -hmm. um, what do you hope to see for the future of Singapore and sporting in Singapore? Absolutely. So looking back the past 10 years, I think we've come a remarkable way, really. We've improved a lot as a country, and also the people making decisions have learned a lot. You know, I think we're definitely in a good spot to take us to the next level. Um, if you look at it, <clears throat> particularly in the Singapore swimming scene, maybe after the next SEA Games, um, in the past SEA Games, you've already seen a lot of fresh faces, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of rookies. Um, that have performed really well. They've bagged a lot of golds. Um, they've done us proud. So we're kind of like in between this entire shift of generations or like passing of the guard, um, as you'd call it. You know, um, if our medley team comprises of me, Tsung, Lionel, and uh, you throw a DC or Johnny on the back, and if me, Tsung, and Lionel retire after the next Olympics, then 75% of the team has to change, you know? And that's definitely one of the um, tightest relays that we have. Mm -hmm. So the younger generation is doing a great job, but we, we have a lot of work Need to, to accomplish. Step it up. Yeah, they gotta step it up. And they will. Because there are a lot Super of athletes. Talented. You look at like the Vietnamese guys that are coming through mm -hmm. the ranks as well. The Four Vietnamese two, two, females yeah. are so strong. Oh, uh, they're so fast. Like it, it's incredible actually watching them. So yeah, we have a lot of work to do, but I trust that with the current people that we have um, from an athlete level, yeah, we're gonna do great. Um, from a managerial level, it's people like Sonia Porter, for example, mm -hmm. that really piece everything together. You know, you only see the medals, right, and whatever we win, but no one, when we're watching the show, people are watching this show don't really see um, what goes in behind it. Yep. And that's where the magic magic happens. So as long as we keep people like Sonia on board, Stefan, uh, G, I think Singapore swimming is going to be in good hands. Of course, I can't speak for other sports. Yeah. I don't know any other sports besides swimming. <laughs> well, so it wouldn't be right for me to make that assumption. Well, speaking of knowing other sports, uh, we're going to pop off for a quick break. But when we come back, we're going to find out just how well you and Barbara uh, know your sports and whether you can act them out. It's a little bit of charades fun here on Kickback with Kelly and Barbara. Don't go away. More fun things to come with our Joseph Schooling special. with Kelly and Barbara on our Joseph Schooling episode. And it is showdown time. Because Ooh. what's the point of getting an Olympic champion on the show if you can't make him actually I need to warm up. compete? Barbara's going to warm up. Okay, <laughs> so it's going to be Barbara versus Joe in a battle of charades. Uh, I've got the names of several sports written down. Barbara's going to go first. Joe okay. has to guess. And I can make sounds, yeah? You can make some sounds. This should be quite funny. <laughs> Um, if Barbara's making sounds, this is definitely going to be funny. We're going to have about 90 seconds on the clock for each of these uh, rounds. Are you ready? Go for it. I'm so Barbara, are you ready? Coffee. Let's go. Okay. Whew. All right. All right, Barbara. Our time Good acting starts. only. No sabotaging. Now. Swimming. Oh, very good. Woo. Uh, <laughs> no, don't skip. Ultimate frisbee? No, you can't skip. Yeah. <laughs> Golf? Can I not say? Uh, oh, shot put, shot put. Yes, thanks. Oh, <laughs> archery. Very good. Um, Rowing, kayaking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, synchronized swimming. Two. Oh, I should have put synchronized swimming in there. He's really bad at this. Drink alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Skip. Okay, Water fine. Polo. Yes. Oh, Thank there we you. go. Actually, uh, okay. Um. Uh. Do, 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 do. 
Do Figure skating. Um. <laughs> Artistic swimming? <laughs> Can we skip? No. Yeah, let's just. Um. Ping pong, tennis. Come on, Joe. The only sports I know that go like this are ping pong and tennis. Okay, skip. <laughs> Squash. Yes, thank Who you. Who gave you oh. that? No, I just came. <clears throat> tennis. Yes. <laughs> and you've got three more seconds. Woo. Diving. Yes. Very good. Okay, so time. Seven correct oh. out of ten. So okay, I'm so what sure were the ones that? I got all of them right. So. Yeah, shot put, which I had to give you <laughs> because you <laughs> didn't like, even know what it was. <laughs> but that, how can how is that counted against me though? No. Well, it's her. Oh, that's it's my her, score. It's your score. Yes. Oh, I should have gone slower then. Yeah. Never mind. Okay, it's your turn. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So, okay. your first. <laughs> I bet she's giving you some real messed up ones. Oh my god. Okay, are you ready? Go for it. Your time starts now. Oh, um, horse riding, hurdling, hurdles, no. Well, the first, oh. Horse riding, but uh, jumping over things. Yes, no, what's it's the actual sport I called? don't know, but we, we know. went through this. All right, skip, skip, skip. Okay, fine. It still counts. Golf. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Taekwondo. Uh-uh. Karate. Uh-uh. Uh, Jiu-jitsu. Uh -uh. Slap. <laughs> On guard. Oh, fencing. Oh, you can't go. say on guard. Yeah. That, that is not like. That's cheating. Oh my god. Skip, skip this. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. Oh, you have little faith. Um, uh, Paton. No. Bowling. Take <laughs> 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 Oh, I said it just now. The one that you didn't know. The one that you didn't know was winter or summer. Cur 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 uh, curling. Uh, curling. Oh, <laughs> Next. Lord. People are just whispering stuff to me now. You've got 10 more seconds left. We're just getting like shots of his bum. <laughs> <laughs> you stay in one place. <laughs> go, go. Pass. Hockey. Yes, there we go. Floorball. Your time's Two ended, but this is really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> no, <laughs> Keep going. Oh, come on. Oh, this winter one. Um. No, I got it. Yeah, go on. So tell us what it is. I don't know what it Bob is. Sledding. Oh. Bob sledding. Oh. oh my goodness me. Okay, so that's not too bad. Like, <laughs> also seven. seven. Also seven. I'm, and that's what? including the one. So ones that you didn't get included, like speed climbing, which yeah, completely no passed way. on. Um, but yeah, the rest of them, we're only giving you seven because the rest, we gave you the answer. So there you <laughs> go. Joseph Schooling, definitely Yay. one not to have on your charades team <laughs> because he breaks all the rules anyway. <laughs> oh my goodness me. But then you're also on <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how They don't actually say that when they fence though, right? Do they? I think they do. They're, do they? Yeah. I thought it was like a, a it Hollywood thing, but it's not like a competition thing, right? Like you're I giving people we'll a heads up. We'll, on have God. <laughs> we'll have to ask Amateur. Joe, thank you so much for joining us uh, on the show today. Uh, final wrap up. Any words for your adoring fans out there? Uh, I just want to say thanks everyone for watching. Get active Singapore. Kelly and Barbara are awesome today. Well, thanks. thanks for having me. <laughs> and stay safe, guys. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Joe. We will see you again soon in thank the you. pool as well as out of it. And I'm sure more medals coming your way on behalf of Barbara and I and Joe. We'll see you on the next episode of Kickback with Kelly and Barbara. Bye-bye. <laughs>